Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. How far do you want to take your project or design? How much power and freedom do you want it to have? And more is an acceptable answer here. Now, how deep are you willing to dive to make that happen? If you're really looking to build from the ground up, then RISC-V is a great way to start. RISC-V is a free and open instruction set architecture, or ISA. An instruction set is basically how software talks to hardware, the little bits that tell the CPU what to do. So what RISC-V does is it allows you to build your own CPU implementation. And in addition to being an open ISA, it's also a frozen ISA. If you've ever had compatibility issues when upgrading any device, you can understand the importance of this. Having frozen base instructions means that any software written for RISC-V now will be compatible with similar RISC-V cores forever. Now, does that make you feel excited? Well, excited and scared? Are you wondering how you can start down the road to RISC-V glory? Well, here's your answer. Introducing the SparkFun Red 5 Redboard and the SparkFun Red 5 Thing Plus. The Red 5s have as their microcontroller a Sci-5 Freedom E310. This sports the Sci-5 E31 CPU with 32-bit RV32 IMAC architecture. It offers 1.61 DMIPS per megahertz with speed capable of surpassing 320 megahertz. It has 16 kilobytes of memory for instruction cache and 16 kilobytes for the data scratch pad. Other features of the FE310 include hardware multiply and divide, a debug module, and flexible clock generation with oscillators and PLLs. As for the boards, the Red 5 Red board comes in the familiar Arduino Uno R3 form factor, allowing you to use your favorite shields with it, while the Red 5 Thing Plus offers the smaller feather compatible footprint. Operating voltage is 3.3 volt and 1.8 volt, with input voltage of 5 volt over USB, or 7 to 15 volt DC through the barrel jack on the redboard version, and 3.3 volts via a LiPo battery on the Thing Plus version. As far as I.O. voltage is concerned, the Red 5 supports both 3.3 volt and 5 volt I.O. voltages on their 19 digital I.O. pins. There's also a quick connector to allow you to utilize SparkFun's full line of Quick Connect I2C boards. It offers a wide variety of peripherals including UARTs, QSPI, PWMs, and timers. And while the USB-C interface is great for programming, debugging, and serial communication, we've also broken out the JTAG connector on the larger red board for the more advanced user who wants the freedom to use the power and speed of professional programming tools. This board is not for the faint of heart, so those with weak constitutions or those just starting out may want to wait on this one. While it is incredibly fast and powerful, there is a steep learning curve here. However, depending on your project goals, the reward is going to far outweigh the work and time you'll put into it. A Thread 5 requires Freedom Studio software or the Zephyr RTOS build environment to communicate with the board and program it. Or, if you're really hardcore, you can use your command line interface. Here I have a short script, a basic script that simply sends Hello World over the serial line and blinks the onboard LED. With the help of the Seger J-Link, we'll debug and compile the code through Sci-Fi's Freedom Studio. Alright, if you take a look up here in the console, you can see all the steps it's going through. There we go. Let's open a terminal window. Then we'll start it running. And voila! Hello world here in the serial terminal. And if we look over here at our board, our blue LED is blinking. This is bleeding edge technology, but RISC-V has an amazing community of software architects and developers, along with board developers and chip designers, who are constantly releasing new open source solutions. And here at SparkFun, we will continue to put out information and tutorials as we work more with this amazing technology. So join us on our RISC-V journey with your own SparkFun Red 5 Redboard or SparkFun Red 5 Thing Plus. Pick up yours over at SparkFun.com and happy hacking! Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. You gotta be so tired of hearing me say that. Uh, what an instruction set is, is... I got weird in there. Woohoo! I've become white noise. <laughs> Last night at one, I was like, well, this is the project. It blinks. <laughs> Take your project or design. What's the next part? I mean, it's a whole new language, and it's not an easy language. It's like, like learning Portuguese. Or those just starting out may want to wait on this one. Yeah, they might. <laughs>